Saturday, keeping that game close. Five saves before eventually the U.S. Wide for Mitch Purse. Purse one on one. Purse into the area. We kind of breeze through it in the opening segment. We'll get through the lineup in just a second. Morgan laying it off for Purse. Perez quickly off her line. Sofia Huerta trying to lob it back in. And Perez here gathers easily. Wenenovsky took over shortly after the 2019 World Cup. Much more. What a good player. Plays in Spain. Magic from Urpino ahead for Sanchez. As they rebuild this team with a younger group. Rapino quickly over the top for Morgan. <laughs> Colombia's got World Cup qualifying coming up as well. The 2022 Copa America. Sanchez. Clever for Huerta. Over the top. Morgan. Clattered into from behind. And nothing from Coroleva. The referee keeps her whistle in the pocket. What do you think, Julie? We saw a similar situation in the first game against Colombia mm -hmm. where she was clattered into. I, I think that ball was played in over her head. Static everything is, right, for the United States. Not a lot of interchange. Huerta, cross, deflected in. It'll go in the books as an own goal, but the Americans have their lead in the 22nd minute. So much time and space on the ball for Sofia Huerta. Wide open on that outside, swinging it in. And that's what happens when you're swinging those balls in. And when you get those outside backs forward, good things will happen. Venegas trying to clear it. Lavelle the switch, corralled well by Rapino. Rapino the shot. She, she absolutely could be on that team. Morgan for Horan. Horan now from distance. Perez again smothers it. Lindsay Horan, a Champions League winner with this with some space. Thumps it ahead for Barr. Alyssa Nair in trouble, backpedaling. Ospina! Nair had it covered. I'll end you. There it is. Huerta falling into that gap because Mitch Purse pinching in. A beautiful ball for Pickett with space. Pickett across for Perch. And the header goes just over the bar. The Americans so close, Julie, to a second. Oh, and there is that pinched in three again, opening up the channel for Pickett. And this is a beauty of a ball. Purse waiting in the area. Purse. Purse on her left! Didn't miss by much. Good look by Purse. Lavelle, there is an option. Alex Morgan, there is an option. And she says, nope. U.S. service has been cut out at the near post a few times. It's time to the back post, Paris. Went for a walk and may have just gotten a touch. Oh, these are the situations as goalkeeper. And finally for the United States, getting over that first defender, almost catches when Perez comes off her line. And you got to come out. You got to get some leather on it. She... Corner now for Colombia. Santos. High into the box. Vanegas. Sanchez. Huerta into the middle. Beautiful look for Purse. Something between a cross and a shot. And it ends in the hands of Perez. I will say that good news is Alex Morgan keeps making that near post run. We've seen her do it with the wave and score many. Shoot. Purse. Again, getting into a dangerous spot. The final ball lacking. Bar, sloppy turnover. Where to look at it. Take advantage, Morgan. Off the crossbar. Falls to Purse. U.S. still with it. And that'll do it for her. Nope. Not the first half. Oh, what a boost that would have been for the United States. And this is something Huerta 
putting the press on, and what a ball that is. Morgan letting it come across. So the U.S. and Colombia are doing battle in an international friendly. Been representing the U.S. since 2017. Pick it line drive across, misses both Morgan and Rodman. Good look at that low block there, though, with that 5-4-1. Finding Pickett. Through Lacey Santos, past Lavelle. Santos! What a save from Alisson Air! What a save, given it's pretty much the first save that Alyssa Nair has had to make as well. Santos gets... Lavelle for Rodman, Sanchez, and the spirit connection dialed in until the final touch from the number two. But you're seeing Alex Morgan starts this play with that ball laid off here. Saw her lay in Midge Purse in the opening minutes of the game. We've seen what she can do. Takes it off Morgan. Santos, the number ten. Ospina for Santos. Cleaned up by Emily Sonnet. Colombia getting a little confidence, a little momentum, perhaps a little rhythm. These games. Benegas laces it. The University of Colorado, I know many fans there are excited. Cue, first effort. Tried to sneak it in at the near post, out of bounds for a... Same page coming into that. Mallory Pugh. A live wire ever since she... 11 for Alex Morgan. Saw it at the near post, heads it wide. Adias in a battle with Pugh. Pugh! Again, firing wide at the near post. All of that starts from Pew's team and it being an older team because COVID hit and you couldn't then make the turnovers is the Olympics, which we've been talking about. If you win that qualifier outright, you go to some rain. Yep, and for the concourse, get yourself a dry <laughs> seat. It's going to be a while as the U.S. and Colombia enter a lightning delay at Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah. So we mentioned it's a busy stretch here for the United States. It's potentially, I should say, Julie, a busy stretch because we can't take anything for granted when it comes to World Cup qualifying. But it could be seven games in 24 days. Here's a look at that knockout round that begins on July 4th in Monterrey, Mexico. First game against Haiti, second game against Jamaica, third game against the 